you know, when you're gay, people ask that, like, when did you know? And so I feel like I, I always knew. I think realizing that I was um, a bit different, you could say, was pretty early on. I w grew up in this sheltered environment where I didn't even know where gay was until I was in high school. I think I always knew that something was different about me and that I didn't think about boys the way my friends did and I didn't understand why it wasn't working out for me and guys the way it did for my friends and um, I just thought something's wrong with me. I had a big crush on my best friend and like I, later when I was like in high school I was like oh that's what that was. You know this is gonna sound a little weird but like I've always known like since I was little it's like okay well you know what? you want to play with those cars or not? I want to play with that Barbie. For me to fully admit, yeah, I'm a queer person, um, didn't happen until I was 27 years old. I can't ever think of a time where I thought, where I didn't think I was LGBT, honestly. When I came out to my dad, I got, you know, like, it took him some time. I came out to him in a grocery store, in the baking aisle. <laughs> when we were getting chocolate cake mix, and I'll never forget, because it probably was not the place to tell him something like that. And he turned to me and he was like, okay. I literally just said, hey, um, this is very important to me, but I just wanted to know that I'm gay. And there was just silence in the room. It was dead. My mom gave me this mom look, which was, you can always change your mind. Really? really hard time with my folks. I'm his son and I have to be a certain way and he was raised as like a macho, like, you know, Hispanic man. And so that's how it has to be and there's no other way to go. I'm not changing anytime soon. I was created this way. I was a, trying to muster up the words and put it in Spanish because they only speak Spanish. And out of the nowhere, my mom says, you know what, it's not a punishment. And she just gave me a hug and we started crying and then my dad gave me a hug and they both said they love me and that no matter what happens, they're gonna be there for me. I said, you know, mom, I just wanna to talk to you. I wanna tell you, you know, I'm gay. And um, she said, you know, I know. I've always known I'm your mom being a mom that like you know your kid so my mom knew I was gay before I was gay um, and she um, she was totally cool my dad was totally cool there was a little bit of like some tension um, my mom blamed my dad for me being gay like it was like his fault for some reason that I was gay because I would like wear his clothes and stuff and I remember when I finally got it together to tell my cousins my cousin Peter is like so cute he was like he was like, oh, thank God, like if you had told, we knew you had something to tell us and if it was that you had a boyfriend, I was gonna be really worried about you. Cause like my whole family, like everyone knew. That's who you are, that's how you were created. So we're gonna love you. I said, are you, do you, still, are you still gonna love me? And she's like, of course I love you. But then she had all the questions like, but you're so feminine. And is this cause you moved to California? <laughs> It, it wasn't as much the coming out factor, but then entering the actual community, you know, as a newcomer. The people that are part of our community care. They care enough to do this. They care enough to stand up every day in their lives and be honest about who they are. It just started getting progressively, like, easier. It was like, okay, you get to start meeting people, you know, you're old enough to go to, like, the clubs. You're, like, you know, like, brides. And you're like, okay, wow, there's a whole sense of community out here. There's a million other kids just like you, and I think that the internet is a really wonderful place for that because it's connecting people, and you're not you're not alone, and that's super cliche, but you're not. You're not alone. Other people are struggling with you, and they've made it out of it. Once you come out and you know other people who are out, you build your own friends, and you have a family that you choose. You will find friends, you will find your way, you will find your path. When you start being your authentic self, you just start, like, glowing from the inside and I feel like everyone can see that in every part of your life. If I could do it, hands down anyone can do it because that was a hot mess. <laughs> if you would have told me that it gets better then I would not have believed you but um, that got a lot better. Stick it out. It gets way better. It will be better. No matter how hard you think it is, it will get better.
it literally does get better. You're going to look back on it and think, I'm so happy now, why did I worry about what those kids were saying? Or about not being the same as everybody else. Um, so just hang on, hang on, because there's so much great stuff to experience. I got to march in Washington on the March in Washington, and my mom wrote a check for me to go. And at the bottom of it, she wrote for the right to love. <laughs> it was like, for her to go from that place to that place is like really cool. Life goes on and you can be successful and you can have friends and you can do anything. You can work in any field and be out and be proud and, and still do really well in life. Mm -hmm.